Uh, this is me. I thought I'd come on and just share a little bit about me um, and what's going on because things are going to change in the next few weeks. Uh, I'm going to have an operation. The reason for this is because I've got carpal tunnel syndrome. At night I have to sleep in these. Horrible. I have to sleep in these. These are splints for your wrist and the reason why you have oh just look at my nail varnish i thought i'd show you my nail varnish because i haven't done it today so anyway i have to sleep in these they have a metal rod in here and that stops your hand from curling up when you're asleep i'll just take one off and show you when you're asleep you tend to sleep like this and because of that this nerve in here this nerve in here gets trapped or it gets pressure put on it by the surrounding ligaments and that's what happens when you have ca uh, carpal tunnel syndrome and because of that it gives you pain and mostly pain at night I've got a little bit of pain in my hand now it's very weak is my hand but next week I'm going to have surgery on here and you'll see me coming on with huge bandage on my on my hand so I thought I'd better come and tell you about it so that's a little bit about me and my carpal tunnel oh I popped back on to say to you please subscribe uh, hit the notification bell and make a comment and I will get back to you uh, press the like that's something else I forget to tell people to do so okay bye for now in addition to the pain that you get you get tingling in your fingers not this one because your nerve doesn't go to that finger but these fingers these fingers all get tingly pins on needles and sometimes it's very painful and sometimes I have to put my hands in water just hot water just to to relieve the pain a bit so I'm just taking I'm just taking this splint off I'll talk a little about my hat because I've been doing these videos a long time and when I first started trying to do some sort of promotion online for, for latch hook crochet, the, in, in the first instance it was latch hook crochet and now it's cord crochet and it's promoting my cord maker. So in the first instance I was told in, you, you have to go online, you have to put yourself in front of the camera and at first it was like, ah, I don't want to do that, how can I do that? And um, I was in a group and the rest of the group were just the same and some people found it easy and some people didn't but I found it fairly easy I quite like making these videos so uh, at the time I had to have a photo shoot and that's when I got these hats oh I popped back on to say to you please subscribe uh, hit the notification bell and make a comment and I will get back to you. Uh, press the like, that's something else I forget to tell people to do. So, okay, bye for now. I have a red one and a blue one like this. So that's why the hat is there. I've just found it in a drawer. I thought, yeah, I'll go live with that hat on and just talk a little bit about how this came about in the first instance. Now, um, again about me, when I had carpal tunnel, it, it was a year last October so I've had this carpal tunnel months and I went offline I didn't do many videos so you might have wondered why where's Roslyn Hill why isn't she putting some videos up I, I just went for months and months without doing any videos and during that time I had steroid in I had steroid um, injections and steroid steroid tablets and my hair i lost a lot of my hair and you might have noticed in my some of my earlier videos i had quite a lot of hair i'm hoping it's going to come back but if in the comments if you have any problems like this just get back to me and say oh yeah that happened to me because i'd like to know if my hair is going to come back having had steroids but then it could be that i was just ill and um, run down a bit and that could be the reason why my hair started to fall out. I had hair all over the place, um, all over my clothes and, and so on. But it seems to be settling down a bit now and I'm hoping that my hair is going to come back. If not, somebody in my, we had a little do yesterday and somebody says, why don't you have your hair cut? So I might come back with a haircut. You never know. <laughs> that could happen. And that's because I, I'm hoping that it's going to thicken out as it grows again. So yeah, if you have any problems like that, I'm 73. Not many people come on here and, and do the sort of um, promotion for 
for crochet or any other thing that you know I've had a lot of experience um, going online and having coaching and things but one of the things I do love to do is is Canva and I, I, I post lots of posts on and reels and things like that using Canva and put them onto my Instagram account so that's just a little bit about me about why I'm doing what I'm doing um, yeah if you haven't got your card maker if you want to know more about that just put it in the comments and and uh, this is just a sort of uh, explanation as to why and what things are going on so and also why I'm going to come back and I'll do another video and then my hand will have lots of bandages on it mm. not looking forward to that but at least I am looking forward to the fact that I might not have car put on it I have it in both hands so I don't know whether I'm going to have an operation on this one later as well so it, it does a good it's a good idea for me to come on here and explain what's happening okay bye for now